Hey everyone and welcome to Oblivion Arrives. Um, I received a question off my Vanu LMG tutorial, but ironically it was about TR weapons, specifically the bull and the rhino, the differences and why I considered the bull to be a better weapon. So the rhino is the TR version of the point hold LMG, so it's basically the Polaris on TR, except for the fact that it doesn't have access to soft point ammo. So, looking at the configuration here, we have an advanced forward grip, which makes the recoil identical to the bolt. There's no advantage on this. Now, HVA equipped. This weapon has 20 meters of max damage, like I said. Um, but when you put the HVA on there, that actually will pull that in by 2 meters, so you'd be looking at 18 meters. Um, where the Polaris enjoys having soft point, making that max damage out to 25 uh, the Rhino doesn't. So if you decide to equip this, you're basically hurting yourself a little bit for trying to fold out the range. But the problem is, is the damage on this thing is still 143 at 20. But if you look at range at 65 meters, you're looking at 112 damage. So the fall off is rather steep and the damage at range is really low. And that's kind of weird considering the fact that this is a point, point hold LMG and it has an advanced grip on it. So, kind of makes it a little bit silly. Um, but we're going to go ahead and field test this real quick here, and I'll show off why the bowl is superior. So, with HVA on, and you can take it off and still get the same results here. Looking at this, we have a combat medic. Let's go ahead and headshot him. Five shots. Headshot. Okay. So... Right there, we can see five hits to kill in the head. That's with the HVA on, so that should be better for range. Um, this should make the bullet faster, get there, you know, keep more of its damage profile. Switching over, we're going to go to the bull, and we're going to have soft point on, which should hurt it by its velocity, but, you know, it's not using HVA. So this, this should be an inferior setup at range. But the problem is, is we see this little feature here. This says it's at 65 meters, we're dealing 125 damage. So how does that equal significant. Well, let's equip it and see. Enemy medic, we have a medic here. I'm going to do the same to him. You can tell by the hit indicator already. It's hitting harder, and that's four hits to kill right there. And that's using soft point ammo. If we switch out for high velocity, we'll put ourselves in a similar situation as the Rhino. But again, Four shots to kill. So the only advantage of the Rhino is going to be the ammunition. So we have 500 rounds in this. So the bull doesn't get to enjoy that. And this is a pretty far away target. That's a 2x scope we're looking through. If we actually take it down to a 1x, you'll you'll truly see the distance of what you're shooting at. And this guy, Enemy if you're wondering about range, he's about. 65-ish meters away. Yeah, I mean, I, I put that right in front of him. Let's put it more directly on him. Yeah, it's pretty much 65 meters. Let me, I'll respot him and get another Enemy engineer in the area. judgment on it. So right on top of him. There we go. Yeah, so 62, 65 meters, somewhere right there on the, 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 the waypoint's right in front of him. We can tell that. And I'm sitting here right on the very corner, right next to the uh, weapons terminal here. So Effectively, at this range, this is probably the max range an LMG is going to approach somebody with a reliable kill. Uh, once you get out into like further ranges on these guys here, you can still kill, but the chance of them you know, weaving and causing a little bit of lag or something like that to screw up your shot or to slam med kits or to get behind cover is a lot more present. Um, you're, you're not going to reliably kill at the further range. Um, 65 meters is about where you're going to be looking at to engage, um, and you'll still be bursting at that range to, to make sure that your shots land, and headshots will be much less. You'll be dealing with nano weave more. Um, but in general, the, the damage profile of the bull is better, um, even though the Rhino, you know, it, it has more ammo and it has that better kill potential at point blank. So the HVA for the Rhino is a bad thing. And it's kind of recommended you don't use it. And if you're going to be firing at range, use the bull. Um, the only reason not to use the bull is if you want more ammo and you're worried about uh, not getting to a terminal or, 
not if you're going to stay alive for as long to go through 500 rounds. Well, first off, good job, but um, yeah, you're going to be uh, you're going to be suffering just because you're going to have that lower damage profile and using more bullets anyways. So again, use the bull; it's better. Uh, the rhino, if you're dealing with you know up to 20 meters, uh, and you want to have that max range kill potential, sure, go ahead and use it. But don't put on the HVA, and the bull can almost do the same thing. It's five meters difference, and if you put on that HVA, it's three meters difference. So there's your difference in weapons, and hopefully that explains why the bull's superior. Um, if you have any questions or any comments or any thoughts about this, feel free to put it down in the comments, and I'll try to reply to them. Thanks, guys.